On May 3, 2016, Brett Perriman, a former NFL wide receiver for the Dolphins, Saints, Lions, Chiefs, and Miami Hurricanes, suffered a stroke that nearly killed him. And I knew something was terribly wrong. He was in Miami at the time. His wife, Lanaria, was at their home in Georgia when she got the call. A friend said Brett would not wake up. I heard the panic in his voice, and I knew something was wrong, and I told him to call 911. Perriman was immediately taken to Palmetto General Hospital's Comprehensive Stroke Center. I talked to other doctors that are friends of ours, and everyone was like, that's where you want him to be. The physician told the Perriman family that Brett only had a 3% chance of survival. He had an aneurysm that led to a stroke. Dr. Labrada and Dr. Kashal worked side by side to try and save his life. Dr. Labrada and Dr. Koshal, they are, they have been our angels. Um, I really do believe that, you know, God really worked through them to save my husband's life. Um, I call them like the Batman and Robin of medicine. <laughs> the doctors, the staff, everyone made this experience for us just, you know, unbelievable. Perryman spent three weeks at Palmetto General Hospital. <laughs> and three years after the procedure, he says he still can't believe he's alive. You know, thank y'all for everything y'all did. I am forever grateful to Palmetto General Hospital. That is the place to be. Palmetto General Hospital, a community built on care. I just want to thank my, thank the angels, all of the angels from Palmetto General Hospital. Some great people, they saved my life. We thank them dearly. By the grace of God, we still have him here with us.